Are you serious? All right. Now, this thing in Russia, this thing in Ukraine, the American troops today have arrived in Poland. U.S. troops are also going to be in Estonia, Latvia, uh, Lavinia. And now we understand that um, Russia, uh, of course, has troops in eastern Ukraine. We know Russia's already taken Crimea. We know Russia has 60,000 troops along the borders of Ukraine, including tanks, uh, even a tent city built with a hospital. I mean, with, uh, with helicopters and MiG fighter jets, they've got two warships in the Black Sea. The United States has one warship in the Black Sea. We know things are starting to stack up over there. It is of great concern. Are you serious? What? Has the bear of the north? He's not awake. He's on the prowl. And now, strong warnings coming from Russia. Uh, according to AFP News, Russia has issued a blunt, and I mean a blunt warning, uh, today, April 23rd, 2014. It would respond if its interests are attacked in Ukraine as pro-Kremlin rebels in the rest of east of the country brace for a new military offensive by Kiev. What's happened is the Ukrainian government in the capital of Kiev has said they're going to do some more uh, counter uh, pro-Russian operation that they want to counter it. They want to use some military force to push back the pro-Russian resistance that's going on there. And so the threat by Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Larva recalling the 2008 war with Georgia over uh, the South Ossetia came as U.S. troops were headed to the region in a show of force. And the troops are already there. Troops are already in Poland and will be distributed uh, and the other three nations as well. Now, Washington again warned Moscow of these new sanctions over the escalating crisis. If we are attacked, we would certainly respond, said Larval. What does he mean by attack? Who? He's not talking about if Ukraine attacks Russia. He's saying that if Ukraine tries to bring order to their own country by dealing with pro-Russian uh, combatants that Russia's calling that an attack and they will respond. They're acting as if Ukraine is already theirs. Is it already theirs? You know, I had a conversation with uh, both my sons, uh, two out of the three sons I have. Last night we were discussing this Ukrainian thing. Of course, my son... Uh, uh, just returned from the army, just came home from Germany. Of course, he fought one year in the war in Afghanistan. And he said, Dad, if we don't stand up for the our allies in the European Union, if we don't stand up for our NATO allies, then what are we? What good are we? And, um, you know, you could feel the passion that he had about that. Well, uh, if our interests are legitimately a attacked, says Russia, Russia will attack directly like they were in. Uh, so they're saying, Russia is saying, you better not mess with these pro-Russian, unmarked soldiers, guys that look like this, that don't have any markings on their uniforms, carrying M16 rifles and Uzis, and who are taking over government buildings in Ukraine. These are Russian-speaking, vodka-drinking, gun-slinging, mask-wearing, unidentified soldiers that speak Russian and have a loyalty to Russia. Now, if, if, if the Ukra and they're in Ukraine. I said they're in Ukraine. They've already taken Crimea. Now they're in eastern Ukraine. If Ukraine tries to bring peace and order to Ukraine... Russia says that's an attack on Russia. Are you serious? Are you, are, you, are, you, are you serious? What's wrong? What's wrong with this picture?
You know what? Today, don't miss our show because Daryl Myatt from Keller, Texas, a Bible prophecy teacher, will be with us. He just he just got back from Jerusalem. We're going to talk about the Middle East, the peace agreement, the feeling he felt on the streets in Jerusalem. But we're going to talk about this Ukrainian situation. I mean, look, I'm not saying it's all Russia's fault. I realize that the pr- propaganda coming out of America and the pro-European Union push to bring Ukraine into the EU uh, is, and look, I understand that uh, America has a uh, interest in this as well, but this thing is getting ugly. I'll be right back in just a moment. Give your life to Jesus Christ. We'll find out what else is going on. 